Hi everyone, welcome to Nourish Technologies, this is Srinivas. So, in this session, so we are going to discuss the syntax and flowchart of nested if block. So, we know the importance of a if block so while writing the logical programming in any programming language. So, what is the flow and what is that nested if and all, so we will see. First of all, so what is a nested if? So, what is that nested if block means? Just defining if block, defining if block inside another if block is called a nested if. Right, see, suppose I am writing this if block, if block, here we are writing the condition, condition, this is if block consider and followed by the corresponding else block also we are writing, else block, if block and else block. So, nested if block means what? Inside this if block, so we are writing one more if block. You can write if block as well as else block also, is so a no problem, is a condition is a condition and corresponding else block also this is. But what statements we need to write inside I will explain and in the else block also right if requirement is there is a program requirement here it is a condition and else block we are writing else block we are writing this is how it will execute. We know that so among if block and else block only one block executes. If condition is a true, if block executes, if condition is a false, else block executes. So, first execution starts here. It will check the outer condition. If outer condition is true, the control move inside. It will check that inner condition and whenever outer condition is a true, complete outer else block will be terminated. Completely this part will be terminated. It will omit. Only the control enters into this if block and again it will check this if. Again, if this condition is a true, again the corresponding else block will be terminated. So, outer if block is true and inner if block is true. So, outer if condition statements, outer if block statements, inner if block statements only execute. Outer if block statement, inner if block statements execute. But see, if outer condition is a true, but inner condition has failed. So, as outer condition is a true, outer if block statements if inner if block is a failed, so else block statements execute, if else statements execute, if else statements. For example, if completely outer condition has failed, so directly control come to that else block, it will check this condition. So, directly control enters into else block means what? Else block statements execute and inner if block condition is a true. So, if block statements also execute. Suppose, here it is a whenever this condition is also false, outer else block statements and inner else block statements execute. So, this is. So, among all the blocks, right, how the statements executes means what like this. Now, for this syntax, suppose if I am writing a flow chart, how it will be C is a flow. So, all the flowchart rules we need to follow, so, follow while writing flowchart for nested if. So, first here it is we are checking that outer condition, so, so means what as soon as we start, so start, so start. As so, a first we are checking that outer condition and we know that for every condition two options are there true and false for this condition true option, if true it will go inside, if false it will move to that else block. So, the two options are there, if outer condition is true or if outer condition is false. So, these are the two options you should specify. Suppose, if outer condition is true, the control move inside and it will check another if block, condition true or false. If outer condition is true, the control move inside and it will check inner if block condition. For this condition also, again two options are present, if it is a true or if it is a false, if it is a false. And suppose if this inner condition is also true, outer condition true, inner condition is a true. So, outer block statements and inner block statements execute. So, here it will execute 
outer if block, inner if block statements. Suppose if inner condition is a false, then if else statements execute. So, this one, this one, if else statements execute, only one block it will execute. Sir, suppose if continue com means what completely condition has failed outer condition directly control come to that else block. So, here if if condition has failed directly it will go and check that it means what directly enters into else block and in the else block what if statement you define that will execute this condition it will execute this is a condition. And for this condition again two options are there if it is a true what we have to do and if it is a false what we have to do. If it is a true else if statements, if it is a false else else statements, if it is true here it is else if statements execute and here it is a false else else statements execute, else else statements execute. So, here it is only one block executes right any one of these. So, here is finally, it will move to end and this one it will go like this and it will go like this and is this one. So, like this among all. So, this is a flow chart right. So, this is a syntax of nested if block and this is the execution flow of a nested if block right. So, hope you understood. For more videos, please subscribe to Narishadi channel. Thank you.